Hello the internet, my name is Laura and welcome back to my channel. Continuing on with our field trip, I am at Valley View Farms, which is a place I always visit when I'm up here in Baltimore. So I'm really excited and I hope they have a lot of good stuff. Mm. Well, I guess that's great. Oh, those are some pretty purple hibiscus. Oh, I guess if I ever need to buy a hanging basket. Oh, here's some parts. but we got ferns yay and some orchids wow that's a really pretty i like that color um, some alocasia college produce bromeliad oh they have some ficus um these are might sit on there I know the name of this, I can't remember what it is. Oh, and Creo Star, really nice big ones. Oh, Altissima. I forgot that they actually have the, the things up there. They tell you all what I... So Altissima, though, these ones, oddly enough, don't have any of the variegation on them. Those are just, there's a couple here that are just all the lime green and then there's the ones that actually have the, the different variegations on it. Bird nest farm, China doll plant, doesn't always look so shiny. Um, Chinese evergreen, well, that's a different one, Hawaiian tea plant. It's a cordyline, I mean I knew it was a cordyline but it's got some interesting stuff on it. Some calatheas. Really nice big calatheas. Ooh. That oh no, that's a Zabrina. Okay. I, I was wondering if that was the, the really soft one, the jungle velvet, I think. But no, I, I have one of those. Calatheas. And apparently they just watered or whatever, but they have the water sitting in the Bromeliads like that. I think that's really cute. That's gorgeous. Look at that. Oh, and they have some palladiums in here. Cool, cool, cool. Um, oh, and then up is lots of Tristanthia. Um, I don't know if the more purple ones are a different type than the ones with the silver. It feels like they are, because they would have gotten all the same amount of sun, so. All right. More pretty colors. I'm just going to start over here. Olive tree. Yes, indeed, olive tree. Starting to recognize that. Tiny little snake plants. And then some bigger snake plants. Red Marantas. Mine is looking so bad. But, you know, it is what it is. Oh, these are, I was about to say, these are succulents. Are they aloes? Yeah, these are aloes. They look like they're a little underwater. They don't feel, they don't feel nice and plump. Peace Lily. 
ant plant. Ant plant. Kind of got a, a cool color on the undersides of it like that. You can kind of see it through the top on the younger leaves especially. Interesting. In nature, they provide habitats for ant colonies. Yeah, no. <laughs> Ferns, money tree, smaller ant plants, turtle vine, and not like the peperomia, some cane. Don't eat this. Okay, perfect. Got some Hoya, looks like Crimson Queens. Really nice and healthy looking. Some more fern, fern. Not sure. Yeah, yeah, really. I think when it's like especially poisonous or whatever, maybe that's when they will say it. Okay, monsters. While it is unlikely that an actual nursery will have missed variegation, I'm probably going to set my husband to poke through here and see if there's any variegation. <laughs> he looks so thrilled. Oh, look, there's an Adam Sony eye up there. They were just ferns before. And then spider plants, but. Oh, some African violets over here. Oh, and they've got, okay, I guess, I guess we'll go around this way. Bird of paradise, some more snake plants. These are much, much bigger ones. Philodendron. Another monstera. I don't know if this is supposed to be over here or if it's just because it's so big. There's only the one, I think. Oh, no, there's a couple. and big though and mine is not quite this big yet the one that I have at home I mean it's getting there all right more palms racinas some little ficus for the ficus benzabinas oh they have some um regal shields back there looking nice mine did not have leaves that big anymore it's kind of a shame got roots all coming out the bottom. All right, tiny little plants here. Cute. Lots of ferns. Lots of ferns. Petonias, peperomias. Hey, little marantas. Hello. Hello. Aluminum plant. Those are goldfish plants. That is interesting. It's an interesting variegation on that. Oh yeah, no, it does say variegata. It's different than my other variegated one though. And it's absolutely huge. Go with that guy. And then they got some pretty scampions down there. All right. Oh, okay. I didn't know whether this was a ficus or not. It is. Amstel King and then 
Ollie braid. So they got some different types of ficus here, which is kind of cool. Usually you only see the Benjamina. All right. Um, all right, so slightly bigger prayer plants. Philodendrons, Philodendron Brazil. Is that Tetrasperma? Oh, that's just Deliciosa. It looks like Tetrasperma. Yeah, Mini Monstera, that's what they usually call that. Oh, wow, they have, they have the Trubii Moonlights here. That would be really cool if I didn't already have one, though it's far more expensive, obviously, than the one I bought, just because Costa Farms can do that, so. Um, oh, look at the tiny little Orbifolias, they're so cute! But yeah, Calathea Land, Medallion, Beauty Star, I think? The pink ones? I'm pretty sure. I don't know what this one's called. They just have them all labeled as Calathea. I oh, know, Vit Vitaka. It's kind of cool. I like the, the high amount of white on there. Chinese evergreens. Wax plant. This one? Hoya Assorted Premium. I actually don't know what type of Hoya that is. You guys can tell me if you know. It's not one that has any specific distinguishing features that I can tell. Oh, here's a, that's a Peperomia of some variety. Wow, the, in the, with the light, that looks really coppery. That's kind of cool looking. Ugosa kind of pretty I don't know if it's just because it's wet though but and then they've got the peperomia watermelon peperomias lots of other peperomias I'm not even sure I could name all of these hmm. and some bromeliads love our bromeliad colors lovely pothos and some tiny little monsteras they have all different sizes of monsteras if you want big ones if you want little ones which is nice because you can get the size that fits anthuriums yeah and some more philodendrons and calathea over here larger calathea the medallion i don't think this one was over there Ooh. Okay, that's fuzzier than I was expecting. Bromelia, Benjamina, Sipgillodendron of some variety. Imperial green. Okay, so it's just green. I know, just green. I'm not I'm not super fan of plants that are just green. Some philodendron. I think this is green goddess. Oh no, it just says lemon lime. Maybe it, I don't know if green goddess is different. They look similar. And more Chinese evergreens. I'm getting touched by ferns. Uh, yeah, it's just all ferns up here. So I am remembering to look up. I'm very proud of myself. Oh, caladiums. Very nice. Look at that. Gorgeous, gorgeous colors. Oh, wow. I really like that one. The green with the red all in the center. Woo! pretty cool too. I think I like the contrast of like the really dark green and then the, the red or the pink. Oh, we got some begonias. Begonias. Lovely, lovely. That looks like an Etna. Oh, there's the red. I gotta stay away from these Rex begonias. I just kill them. I kill them. They're so beautiful and I just can't keep them alive anymore. Lovely, lovely. Oh, oh, ooh, carnivorous plants, yeah. Oh, wow, that's kind of a cool, I like that one there. Oh, that one's got actually got a fly in him. And this is a flower off of the orchid, which has fallen down, so I'm gonna move that over there. <laughs> I kind of would like that guy. I'm not sure if I want to buy this whole thing for it, though. Oh, that's, yeah, that's 40 bucks. I kind of want one of those, though. Hmm. I don't know. I might 
have to come back and see. And it looks like the fly traps are just, yeah, they're just kind of generic fly traps. Use this one. Okay. Yeah, I just said Saracenia on it. Okay. So, a couple orchids, some huge bird of paradise. Woo hoo hoo! Big, big, big. Orgesina. Oh, tiny little black velvet. Black velvet! Alocasia, it does not have a price. It does, whoa, that's it? Huh, I'd have to get one of those. I mean, black velvets are not one of the more super rare ones, but I was not expecting it for that price. Huh. All right, husband, remember that guy. He's wonderful for reminding me which plants I was looking at. Yep. There's the rubber tree that's the burgundy, like super burgundy. I don't like these as much. I like the one that I have a lot, which is good because I have it, so. Ruby. They're called Ruby. Sorry. Ficus Ruby. My bad. You're right. He's right. Some tiny ears, romance trio stars. Some cute little. There's a scanthia, mini tri, mini tricolor. Some snake plants, lovely. Some more fern, stag head fern, heart shaped fern. Other ferns that I don't actually know the names of because I don't really know ferns all that well. Oh, they all have them up here. Those are the ferns that they have. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, that's really cool looking. Is that a maiden pair? I don't know what it is, but look at that with the white. Not that I think I could keep a fern alive, but that is one that definitely has caught my eye. That's gorgeous. All right, we have some outside type plants for Bina. Has some lovely colors. Oh, I always like these. The little, they're like little, they look soft. They're not super soft. They're more spiky, but they're really cool looking. I just like the look of the flower. Oh, Colosia, that's what they're called. Oh, and yeah, the ones that have the little shape like this. I love those. They're so cool. Those are just so cute. Look at the color on that. I love that. Got some purple ones. I think I like the pink better though. That's gorgeous. And then they have some orange, some red. Just so lovely. Thank you. Oh, I like the orange here. Oh, these are the ones that have the little, they're purple, but they have like little white dots in them that make them look like stars. That's so pretty. Oh, then white and then black. All of the black. It's actually got a little bit of a purple color. I'm not sure if it's showing up on camera, but that is really, really pretty. Oh, and they have the little sensitive plant. I'm not gonna touch it because I feel like people always touch them. They're so cute though. Oh, it's a little bigger than I was expecting too, huh? Oh, okay, by picking it up, I made it in. Okay, I shouldn't have picked it up. I just was just looking for a price. And they've got really big ficus burgundy. Oh, this is the burgundy. That's right. The other one with the red is the ruby. Because it's a deeper red. My husband is looking at me incredulously. 
and then peach plants and ferns. I always love the way ferns come up with their little curl. So cute! Okay. Alright, we have little fern baskets down here. And then some regular shades. There's a couple ferns over there and a really long Adansonii. Up, oh, staghorn ferns and they're growing their little protected shields. That's cute. And some more Calathea. Oh, this rattlesnake. That's the first time I've seen the rattlesnake. There's that other one that I kind of like. Hello, what are you? I do not know. Oh, a ficus umbrellata heart shape. This is a ficus. Interesting. Huh. I mean, I guess it has that growth pattern if you look at how it's coming up. Interesting. And then an alocasia of some variety. Grower's choice, it says. Lovely. Uh, and then some more monsteras because you can never have enough monsteras. It's true. These ones are just starting to get their little fenestrations on them. Mm. And more cord lines, bird of paradise. We've got our little bonsai section. Oh, that's actually a uh, jade. Baby jade? Yeah. Oh, okay, there's a couple of them here. There's a variegated one. Okay, and then these I think are starters. Yeah, bar bonsai starter plants. They have a beautiful um, snow bush here. And then some other stuff that I don't don't particularly... Well, there's a ficus benjamina, but... Right, we got some ivy. Regular ivy, variegated ivy, creeping wire vine. Does it actually feel like wire? Okay, no. It feels like a regular, a regular vine. And some more tritoscanthia. Oh no, this isn't tritoscanthia. Purple heart. Looks like a tritoscanthia. purple sweet potato vines. I love those. Oh, huge. Wow, look at that. Mine will probably never get that big. <laughs> Let's see how much it is, though. 69. Yep. All right, we've got lovely philodendron rojo congo here. Or a couple of them, really. That new leaf coming in. That one's a little bit older. Up, oh, Prince of Orange for sure. Yep. Beautiful, beautiful. Another alocasia here. I don't know what type. Kuching. Kuching mask. Kuching mask. Peace Lily. Ah, Ficus Audrey, feeling good. And then more Monsteras, woohoo! And Rapidophora, Tetrasperma. Oh, tiny little red Tenekis. Tiny Tenekis. Um, and some variegated ginger. Very nice. All right, I'm gonna have to avoid some people. That's okay. All right, we've got some lovely cacti here. I do not know what the actual name of that type of cactus is, so it might be. Oh, they have some adeniums, though. Oh, wow, they have adeniums in tiny little pots. Tiny. 
All right, we got string of turtles for days. String of turtles. I like those ones better. They're a little darker. died so and I have no idea what happened to it so I'm scared to get another one. Oh. Huh. Weird. It's like kind of sideways. I came around the corner and thought that just said green plant. And I was like, really? Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, we're going to get this other side. More alocasia poly. Oh, they have some larger goldfish plants. That actually have the little, the adorable little blooms on them. Yep. A nice foia compacta. Right. 40 bucks, yeah, I'm not surprised. Crinkle 8? That looks like a crinkle 8. And it doesn't say. That's a lovely cord line. I like that with the silver. And another mangabe. Oh yeah, we haven't gone. We came up that, and then we didn't come down here yet. Alright. Outdoor plants. And... That doesn't look like marigold. Maybe it is. Oh, Mexican mint. Completely different. Okay, I don't know. Alright, and then we've got, yeah, a bunch of different herbies. Maybe this is just what they bred marigolds out of. Like, it was a mint, and then they took it and said, that flower's pretty, let's make it more awesome. Okay. Variegated oregano? <laughs> Interesting. Alright, I think that's probably about it. So now I'm going to go around and see if there's anything that I want to pick up. There's also the air plants. I did just kind of go over that real quick because I don't particularly care. Air plants are, have never really interested me all that much. So, Okay, I'm going to go around and see what I want to get. All right, so I was walking around and I found this tray under there and I'm looking at them and they are in fact priced. So I assume that they're for sale and until somebody comes over and tells me no, I found an Australia Lisa, which I've really, really been wanting. And if I can find a really nice one here with a, some nice, really good leaves, I'm probably gonna get one of those. They have some really nice like that's a Puka Calyx Splash. I don't even know what this one is with the... Like it looks like it has pink on it, but... 
I'm not sure if that's the other leaves here look really, really bad, so I'm probably not gonna, but the Australia's Lisa I had been looking for and wanting, and so, yeah, it doesn't even say that that's what it is, but I know that that's what it is, so. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna get this one here. All right, but anyway, there's a whole bunch of, they're all, I think, 12 bucks, but um, I am not super interested in paying that much for any of these other ones, but that's one I've been looking for, so. And we'll put it back. So this is the plant haul for Valley View, and I also got some plants that one of them you saw, one of them you didn't. So the one that you did see was I got this begonia at the Lowe's. Um, they've had a bunch of cane begonias at different different Lowe's that I've been to. They've been having the different... It's a Costa Farms guy. Um, and um, they've been having a bunch of cane begonias that I just haven't seen before. And this one is just super super pretty with like the dark leaves and kind of the wrinkle or the ripple effect and um and then the red undersides and so i obviously had to pick this one up again i have the problem of the really long stem here but i'm just gonna trim that off and propagate it or whatever but i have no idea what this begonia's name is it's a cane begonia and it's very pretty so there it is that was from lowe's um, then my husband and I went to Ikea to pick up some stuff, um, and they had plants there, and I saw this peperomia, and I just was rather taken by the, the pattern of the variegation on these leaves, and it was, like, so thirsty. I mean, it was just, like, all the leaves were really limp and just, and I was like, oh, I can save that, and it was only... I think it was only $3.99 or $4.99. Um, and so I was just like, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and get it. And so I went ahead and got it and I brought it home and I stuck it in the thing of water and I watered it. And now all the leaves are feeling like nice and firm, like peperomia leaves are supposed to feel. And it's looking much happier. And so I'm going to take that home and give it a good home. Um, called Himalayan mix but I don't know if that means anything so anyway got this one at Ikea so and then I went to Valley View and you guys saw a lot of that so the things that I ended up picking up were um, this Nebatanthus variegata so this is a goldfish plant and I have a variegated goldfish plant some of you will remember um, it's got really dark green leaves and then like the yellow white in the center. This one, the leaves themselves actually look kind of silver, like almost gray on here. And then there's like the darker speckling, um, of variegation there. And on the very end leaves, like there's much lighter variegation. And this has one, two, three, like four growth, four growth points. And then this is really long, so I figure I can propagate this and like turn it into a full plant like pretty pretty easily and I just I like the I like the look of this variegation with like kind of the silver leaves and then the dark speckling on the outside so um oh I lost a leaf that's okay <laughs> um so that's my plan with this guy is I just I really this plant the goldfish plant I have has been really easy to take care of so I figure this one's not going to be any different um and then I just, I like the variegation on it. So that's, I ended up getting that. Right now it does not sit very well though cause it's so heavy on the side. I have to prop this up on another thing to get it to stay up. There we go. All right, and then I found this little black velvet alocasia and it was only $9.99, which I was really surprised at I thought it would be far more expensive than that. And so I just decided I had to get it. Um, and it's just so cute and compact. It says dwarf elephant ear. So I guess it's gonna stay smaller like this, which I'm okay with. Um, and then the leaves are not really fuzzy, but they kind of, they're not fuzzy, but they're soft, I guess. Um, and I guess, and it really looks like velvet when you look at them, especially in the sun, but um, that guy, 
he's super cute and I really I'm looking forward to seeing him grow and last but not least this little Hoya that I found hiding under the bench is a beautiful Australis Lisa um, I think I noticed this after I had turned the cameras off they were all actually marked um, all of the ones in that little tray or whatever. This is the only one I ended up getting because they were 12 bucks, which is, um, but this is a particular Hoyo that I had been looking for for a while. And so I decided that I was going to go ahead and get it um, because I probably wasn't going to find one for much cheaper. And then I'd have to pay shipping if I got it from like, you know, Etsy or whatever like that. So um, it looks nice. It's got, it's got, I like, I like this variegation where it's like, a bunch of different like shades of green and almost like it doesn't really have white like I mean that the the peperomia kind of has white but the the goldfish plant that I got doesn't really like white I like I, I think I'm starting to really like these ones that have the different greens that's kind of why like I, I prefer to have a sport monstera as opposed to a, a albo and not just because they're like more rare or hard to find or blah, 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 or whatever, but just because that's like what I want. Um, so anyway, those are the five plants that I got for while I was in Baltimore. And I'm really happy with them because I, I really, I've been a lot more picky about plants because I haven't been wanting to get a lot of plants and I still came away with five. So anyway. If you like this video, go ahead and like this video. If you'd like to stick around and see more of my plants and, you know, my home setup, because this is, you know, I'm at my mother-in-law's house, um, go ahead and subscribe and you can stick around. And thank you very much for spending some of your time with me today. I will see you in the next video. Okay, bye-bye.